Hi everyone, my name is Kiran. Today we are going to discuss about Azure Automation Account migrating from run as a account to managed identity. Why it's a required migrating from run as an account to managed identity? What are the actions we need to perform it for this? We'll try to understand guys today. So before going to jump today's topic, if you like my videos and please subscribe and like and give the comments. So it's a very encouraging to me and I can see so many um, like uh, not subscribe the my channel and uh, viewing my uh, channel and please subscribe if you like my videos and uh, click on bell icon you will get the notification also yeah thank you let's jump into the topic azure automation account and nowadays we can see all companies are using the azure automation account they schedule their run books run books means their script day-to-day -day activity wise uh, generally that script is a uh, using like example nowadays for reducing the cost wise and development testing virtual mission should be turn off after business hours and whenever business start automatically needs to be power on but how it will happen we need to schedule the that script we need to schedule the script it's a powershell or python whatever it may be and uh, depends on requirement we can write a script and maintain in the run uh, in the automation account and schedule it so when needs to be run the time zone and particular time we can define it accordingly it's going to power on or uh, and accordingly power off also we can schedule it but even azure uh, virtual machine by default they given we can use it that way or otherwise a run uh, automation account through that also we can schedule it guys we can schedule it so this is a totally guys background about but why is a migrating from run as a account to uh, manage the identity so you can see is suppose you can go to the automation account and nowadays in like uh, who are using azure especially automation account you can see this is a message whenever you open azure automation account and clearly saying that notification here Azure run as an account will retire September 30, 2023 and will be replaced managed identity before September 30, 2023. You need to start migrating run books, use managed identity. For more information, see the like a link also they given how to migrate it. Microsoft articles, Microsoft documentation clearly given. So this is a for more secure the our automation account. Why is a more secure? If you say whenever we deploy, uh, like we are select the run as a account. Run as a account means what happened? If you scroll down here, there is a run as a account returning soon. It's showing, but it's a this is a run as a accounts. So whenever we click on run as a account, previous run as a accounts. Uh, let me show you, just a minute. And previously, classic model is a kind of our user accounts. But here, run as account wise, this is a one guys, and this is a display name, and it's a thumbprint. It's a kind of unique ID for this, like a password or thumbprint or certificate, private key, like that you can read. And this is the application ID, thumbprint, subscription ID, and tenant ID. These are the values it's going to utilize it and run the script. Run the script. So Whenever power on the virtual machine or power of the virtual machine, example wise, I'm taking that one and that account required the privileges to turn on or turn off without privileges, how it will perform this automation account, some user account, we should use it. So that way we are using the run as a automation account, run as a account wise, we are using and this account, how by default automatically get the contributor role that particular subscription level automatically get the subscription level that role we are getting guys that's the reason contributor role means he this role can able to do it anything that means this run as a account can able to perform it so this is a like you know it's not secure maintain the this way it's a publicly uh, not publicly i can say is a in your organization anyone have access of automation account they can able to see this thumbprint application id and subscription id tenant id it's not a secure thing 
So Microsoft, that's the reason and asking to migrate it and it's going to retire this option. Okay, so this is a totally guys about run as a account. How to migrate it for this? First of all, we have to go to under system in this automation account. There is a identity is available. By default, system assigned is a turn off. We should turn on the assigned identity and save it. Click on S. And it's a going to turn on the managed identity. Yes, I got the service principle. That is a object ID or principal ID. I got it. And the second thing, we should assign the Azure role for this identity. Click on role assignment and that particular no role assigned for this subscription. So I'm going to add a role assignment and this role is a uh, what role we should assign it. The scope is a I can say suppose is a subscription level and that particular subscription and resource group like a role sorry role I can define it contributor role or we can define it. I want only virtual machine related turn off power on and virtual machine related automation only and might be it's a specific resource group and we can define it. We can define it that role it's a accordingly. So here contributor role if you given accordingly it is able to perform the anything. Save it and we provide the privileges for this identity. Provide the privileges for this identity guys. Okay, add role assignment is completed. Now this role how um, I um, like kind of uh, contributor role getting. Okay, after that what we need to make the changes and here if you go to the run books, definitely you have multiple run books, guys. Definitely you should have multiple run books. Suppose, uh, uh, like I can show you some script here. Generally, older scripts like this. Like you can observe here, get the Azure automation account information. And uh, this is a get automation account connection is a run as a account. So that run as a account, it's going to utilize it, the tenant ID and application ID and certificate thumbprint. These all values is a getting from that run as a account. And we must and should specify these values. Otherwise, the script won't able to run it because of that script don't have or automation don't have that privileges. That's the reason cannot able to run. So that's the reason we are providing these values. And this is a older version run as a account wise. But now how to do it, our script. Same below this is a script, major script for power on the virtual mission as per tag value, as per tag value and specific time 6 a.m. wise. That value also we define it, the tag wise, it's a we are defining. On the tag, start time equivalent to 6 a.m. is a available, that particular virtual mission, that virtual mission should be automatically power on. Automatically power on means that script it's going to power on the virtual machine guys. These are the previous scripts, even AG VM like we can mention, but this is a older script and just example wise I'm taken. But newer script wise, we should majorly, we need to look into that connect AG account. And this is a identity, iPhone identity. So that means we are connecting identity through that and like what is the remaining script accordingly needs to be run. So this is a major differences. Below is a both the things is a major point wise. This is the same, but major one more point here above one run as account. Those things we are removing and only specifying connect iPhone AG account I, uh, space iPhone identity and provide the identity name. So this way we can define it guys. This way we can define it. You can see here. Suppose previous wise uh, start VM wise also the script click on edit and um, give me a minute uh, run books and start VM add a canvas or uh, sorry just a minute asset this is the older one uh, no I don't want I can show you this is a one. And this is the one I'm going to show you, edit. And you can see previous scripts like this. Get service principle. 
and a service principal name, tenant ID, application ID, and certificate thumbprint. These are all values we need to provide. It. So clearly mention and getting the connection with the run as account, logging into Azure platform and getting these values accordingly, get the privileges. After that, it's going to run this remaining script. But nowadays, what is the latest one? Microsoft saying that it should be remove it in your all run books. It should be re remove the this particular above one and and add it to the that what I shown you in the here. This is a connect iPhone AG account space iPhone identity that identity name we should provide it and we need to update the all run books guys. Once is updated and you can test it. The run book is a once is updated. You want test it. You can test it the test pan and from this place you can test it. Okay. As per identity is working or not, you can validate it. If it is any issue accordingly, mostly probably you are changing the script. Only one point here, identity, system managed identity you are assigning. That identity have right privileges or not. That is the only thing is required to need to be validated. Remaining everything is the same. You are not changing any other things. Only you are changing the for performing the action that identity how privileges or not we need to validate it. If you once is a validated and it's a properly mentioned and properly assigned the identity and everything. Yes, the roles and everything. Yes, you are good to go and test it. And after that, you can your task is a completed migrate to the managed identity guys from run as account to managed identity very simple way we can do it guys and after that we can go to here run as a account this one it's uh, going to retire when is going to retire it's a uh, clearly mentioned september 30th and so and so and uh, you can uh, resolve this one and automatically this issue also will resolve it and expire 17 3 2023 5 30 a.m it's going to so this is a won't work guys and you must ensure two things in your run books you need to identity uh, like modify your script accordingly system identity wise that one as well as here before that modifying you need to get the system identity that object principle uh, should be and add a role for that add a role for that so that's it guys